So I'm running a code to train my current uh, research build on how to make GPT-2 GPT XL safer. So I think, I don't know if it's gonna show, but yeah, it's eight hours more, but that is gonna be a topic of a different uh, video in the future but uh, more of this short video would be like something like I don't know how to start it maybe I'm grabbing some ideas from Dominic who's been doing the AI uh, media briefing all over the Philippines now and we've talked a bunch of things and one of them is this uh, me making more videos of what but basically I'm doing um, but the problem with what I'm doing is the mere fact that we're just 350 safety people who's been trying to do this research safety research to be more uh, precise but not quite precise because there's more to it but I won't dive into that now but think of this video to try to be me trying to explain some parts of it or like a little bit of it or like a s slow burn as Dominic calls it like a short intro to the series of like short vlogs I could call it vlogs because uh, I'm, I used to do blogs and I'm more familiar with a more realistic approach on things so I'm basically starting something here starting to share a very important message which the problem with the AI safety the AI alignment the AI development that is happening is that is happening all over the world is it's so dense and very few people could understand it so I can't quite think of a, like a possible route of not ending up as me being misunderstood either lacking of explanation because the whole sphere of it is quite it, it requires a depth of multiple fields it requires a depth in philosophy, it requires a depth, depth in economic, um, um, economic um, what you call this, understanding of economics. It requires understanding of uh, a bit of history, a bit of, a lot of technology, a lot of, I mean, AI research itself, which I'm still can't say that I'm very familiar with even even if I'm I've been doing this for six months now um, let's say a garage project that turned out to be one of the most important things that I will do in my life well this this is it I mean that's my short intro to it so I'm from Cayman Islands I moved to Chiang Mai for probably a minimum of six months. I also got my uh, education visa here to so stay longer because of the infrastructure that they have in Chiang Mai is suitable for what I'm doing as a research. And I just gonna start this discussion with the idea that uh, I'm, yeah, I risked a really good profession in in my field as a um, cost accountant, um, construction accountant in Cayman Islands, but not only Cayman Islands. I've been doing cost accounting for like 14 years now, and I'm risking, I did risk it now, because uh, I'm full-time researching in AI safety. And uh, yeah, I'm, I've gone deeper from my initial research three months ago that I've submitted to the AI Alignment Awards. I've 
found a lot of flaws in what I submitted probably the reason why I didn't like got into the finalists which is okay it's part of the process but the process also allowed me to be convinced that there is significant uh, responsibility in me to deliver in these trying times because uh, never in human history that we have been threatened by another intelligence or form of intelligence that is so profound that we're actually casting a threat to our very 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 much our niche or specific niche what makes humans humans or what makes humans dominant as the or or the species that became dominant to control the trajectory of other species so we control the rats and how they end up in labs we control the chimps on how they end up in laboratories and zoos we end up controlling the savannas for the lions we kind of uh, even see the oceans as controllable we're overfishing it so we're dictating the life of other species and now there is this technology called artificial intelligence that is arguably un uncharted territories what i mean by that is nobody knows what's inside it and no one knows how to make it safe so that's why i'm into this game i kind of know some parts of it and enough to like say that maybe i could add something maybe i could deliver another like step to the theoretic the alignment theoretic and uh, that might be my short intro my kind of slow burn intro why miguel risked his ability to generate uh, enough income to let's say do more of his regular marathon martial arts uh supporting my family back home in the philippines um i'm risking all of those for ai safety and uh, i just think that there's a there's a real gra gravitational or let's say pull a real pull to existential risk here and again i know enough of some fields to like maybe deliver something and i'm still in the process of figuring that out but i'm here to be a responsible citizen of the of the world having enough knowledge access to great technology and trying something uh, daunting and uh, and it, let's end this video from a viewpoint that this these are like the times that I questioned uh, my rationale on things this is absurd obviously but me having understood that I understand the alignment problem and thinks that can I can deliver something to improve the solution part I have a responsibility to act and did me resigning from my previous job a really good job throwing away my martial arts uh, trajectory throwing away my marathon stint both in Cayman Islands and starting something wild I'm I could live with this error if I am go, going to fail at this but I'm I'm ensuring that I'm gonna try my best though my very best so me also adding some videos to this mix is me trying to like also attempt the best possible position for me to write up probably probably a 
important story for myself and maybe if I am successful in this at least uh, I could look back at this video videos series of videos how, how many will they be as like part of the process on how I ass assumed and maybe tried and assured or failed so yeah this is one of those videos that I'm sharing to the world now yeah for I, I'm definitely I'm not the doomer I want a really good future but there is a threat to that future and as a responsible citizen I'm acting on it I know enough to say that maybe I could add something or maybe I could fail at trying to add something to the alignment theoretic so this is my attempt and this is the first video of many yeah see you in the next video and if you like alignment related stuff AI safety stuff feel free to ask questions how my six months progress have like enabled me to like learn enough to produce code test test language models and yeah maybe I could help you in your journey or maybe we could or you could help me in this journey so yeah this is the first of many as I've said yeah See you in the next one. Bye.